I think Aries successful because they give cinematographers the tools that they want and that they need and that they're reliable, that they can count on. Living in a place like Toronto, back then, the film industry was really not visible at all. It was sort of one of these behind the scenes things that you never were aware of. So I didn't, I didn't think I ever even knew that it was kind of a possibility to work in, in film. So somewhere in high school, I started to read about films more. Probably a movie like Star Wars probably helped a lot because that's when I really started reading magazines and you would see all the behind the scenes thing and you would see the people actually working on the films. Uh, and I was like, wow, I could actually do this. I shot a film called One Week where we drove across Canada with like a super tiny crew and shot this feature film with uh, Joshua Jackson was the star. And he has, gets a motorcycle and his, his, he takes this trip across Canada. And we thought, well, with a tiny crew, how are we going to deal with this? And you know, some, some of these cameras were coming out now the early early digital cameras and people were just shooting on video cameras and things and we were like well no we want to shoot on film we want to make it look like a film so we shot it on super 16 we had to ship our film back in with fedex you know whenever we got the chance we happened to be in a bigger town that had a fedex thing and and we wouldn't see rushes i think i saw my first rushes we were like into our second week of shooting before i'd seen anything and you know i'd got a note from the editor saying oh, everything looks great but I hadn't seen anything, but I worked enough and that was the thing about film. You just knew what you were doing and how you were exposing things and you trusted the, the film stock and the camera. Most recently I shot uh, a series for the CBC, it's eight hours called Shoot the Messenger and we shot on Alexas. We used the Master Primes. So for Shoot the Messenger, we were looking for a little bit though, a little bit of a, a grittier look. So that idea of using available light a lot of the time and things not always being quite so pretty. It was nice to be able to just go out in the, in the street and shoot things with virtually available light. So I think it's a, it's, it's a great system now and I think you know, the way it looks uh, is certainly worth it. It's an exciting time, I think, with, uh, with the changes and I think sort of embracing that new world, I think, is, uh, is I think making a lot of cinematographers better even than they, than they were before.